Hello everybody, Grim Chorizo here. Welcome to Grim Games. We're gonna play Doom, the original Doom. One of my favorite games as a kid. See if I still got it. New game, Knee Deep in the Dead is the first episode, so we're gonna go with that one, and we'll go Ultra Violence. Nightmare is too extreme, but Ultra Violence is like the highest difficulty you do if you are sane. So Ultra Violence, here we go. And that guitar, listen to that guitar. Okay. Let's kill these bastards and get their shotguns. So yeah, this game was released in, uh, what, 94? 93, maybe? The one I played, the one I played the most is Doom 2. So that's the one I know like the back of my hand. Uh, this one... I don't know as well, but I like to think that I know these first levels pretty decently. And I know there's a secret that I just missed, so we'll go back so people aren't like, You're such a noob! Okay, got that. Then you can actually go down here. So basically, it's, we're on Mars, and we are space, we're space marine, and this place is getting effed up by... Demon zombie. These are my former marines that are now turned into zombies. And I'm killing them. I think the for the there's also some demons. They're called imps up there. Imps and they shoot fireballs. Double kill, bitches. If this were like a new shooter game, it would be like double kill. Oh, barrels of fun. If you've actually uh, watched my. Top 10 Doom 2 levels, Barrels of Fun, is one of those levels. That's what it's called. I just like blowing them up for fun, even if I don't kill anybody. Okay, so this is the exit. It's one of these little pieces of shit still there. Pick everything up, and we're done. Did I kill everybody? Nope, I didn't even kill anybody, everybody. Didn't get all the secrets, and I didn't get all the items. So I sucked it up, but it's okay. So that was Hangar. Next level. Nuclear plant. Here we go. So yeah, it's like, obviously all has a very space, spacey theme to it because, well, we're in space. We're, we're on Mars. Or one of the, yeah, we're on Mars. And shit's just going down. Bad shit. You know, I'd like to see a movie of Doom that doesn't suck balls and doesn't Star the Rock. Because it's a good plot. But... No, that movie is terrible. Going up the stairs. Okay, this is the first level where we get some key action. Which this game... Doom is just... It's all about keys. You get keys... See, we just got the red key. You get keys to go further into a level. Because you need said keys to advance. So the... We'll be wanting to look for the red door, which I believe is over here. We got the red key, we can enter the red door. And there's blue keys, there's yellow keys. Uh, I don't remember if there are blue and yellow keys in this level, but most of the later levels have all three. Oh god. Uh, scary lights are flickering. But shotgun is my favorite weapon. Super shotgun, actually, but that's not in this one. That is in Doom 2. But you just, you have so much fun killing people with shotguns. It's just such a simple weapon. But for these little guys, so effective. Um, don't know if I missed anybody else, but we're gonna go through here. Oh! The lights are down. Anything over here? Yeah, there's an imp. And a, uh, what did they call them? Zombie. I think they call them former humans. I used to call them because there's like sergeants and commandos. I think commandos are only in Doom 2. I guess we'll find out soon enough. But I call those the privates. It looks like one of my buddies died here. Well, 
It's a good thing this isn't a uh, time trial because I'm sure taking my sweet time. Hell, I don't even know how to get out of here. I feel like when I play this level, I normally don't go through all this bullshit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is where I need to go. Over here. Up here, I should say. There's some imps. I totally just took both of their fireballs. Good times. Oh, what's over here? Oh! Little secret. Little secret action. How do I get out there? Honestly, don't know. Well, maybe we'll find out before I end the level. Maybe not, though. Probably not. Because the exit is, like, pretty soon. Oh my god, and this, what I'm playing is Z-Doom. It's like a way to play Doom that enhances some things. You can also, uh, you can save. I think you can do that in the original. But either way, I might start saving. So if I do die, it's not too detrimental to our playthrough here. But I feel pretty confident through the rest of this level that I'll be alright. Yeah, here's the exit. Unless all these little guys kill me. Oh! Ah! No, oh, Jesus! I shot him and he still didn't die. Okay. Beat it. Nuclear plant complete. What do we get? 87? 42? We didn't get any secrets. Or I didn't get any secrets. I shouldn't uh, cast the blame on you. So the toxin refinery is next. Uh, I'm going to save, actually. Oh, looks like I had some old saves on there. We'll call this Grim Chorizo. Okay. So now this is level three. Each level gets a little harder. Adds a few monsters. There's some acid. We don't want to... Yep, here's one. That's the, the Spectre, I think it's called. Uh, it looks like... It's basically a pinky, which is... That's a pinky right there, or it's actually just called a demon, but that's kind of a bland and generic name since most of them are all demons. But, so I call them pinkies, and the shadow ones are shadow pinkies. Yeah. Oh, supercharged over there, that blue face. Gives you like 200 health, and it's just really nice. Let's see if I can remember how to get it. But first, it's just so fun to kill people. You know, here's the thing. They've made... In video games now, there are so many games out. So many shooters. So many. Every game seems to be a shooter. A shooter game. Every, and everyone loves them. An FPS. First person shooter. But for me, man, Doom will always be the best. Always. Like, you, didn't even have, you don't even have to aim. I mean, you have to point at them. But that's not why it's the, my favorite. It's because I've been playing... I played this game first when I was like four years old. I don't know why i just my dad loved it my and my brother loved it and so it'll always just have a place in my heart you know and it's just a good game okay we left some stuff back there so we will go back we will go back i've beaten doom a handful of times i've beaten doom 2 a lot of times not saying it's easy because the end of doom 2 is a bitch and i'll probably do a playthrough of that as well but it makes sense to do doom one first and then there's a uh, final doom with uh tnt and plutonium and those are just ridiculous okay there's a lot of dudes in here which means a lot of ammo right oh take that bitch it's probably a guy behind me yeah those are so those are imps just to give you a recap the pink things are pinkies are demons there's another one they take a little bit more to kill there's Shadow Pinky. Same amount of health, I believe. Hey, Yellow Key. There's some keys we're talking about. That's that's what this game's all about. It's keys. Key Key. Key Key. Key Key's delivery service. Okay, now I believe to get that supercharge, you do something right here. I actually have my sound off so I won't hear the door open. I have my sound off so you guys won't hear double sound. I feel like this should go down. Yep, that's what I need to do. So, I don't know. Maybe it's because of this hallway. When I walk into the hallway. Yeah, that. Wait, what? Okay, then I go down here. Yeah, that's what I need to do. But, my path would not be unguarded. Because, I mean, there's some sweet treasure up here. 
This is the supercharge. Supercharge. Little blue face. So I actually got a secret that time. So good for me. Now I have the yellow key so I can go back over here to the yellow door. Nope, that's the blue door. I'm dumb. I think the yellow door is back where we already were. So this one actually has more than one key. And in here... And, uh, okay, I think if I fall in this, it should raise a platform. Nope, that raises the platform. And so if you see health on the ground, if you pick it up but you have over 100 health, it doesn't give you more than 100 health. These things do, though, these little blue blue poach, potions. Oh, God. It's bad to stand next to barrels because they'll blow up and kill you. Blue key. I just have a hunch that when I get this, the lights are going to go out. Oh, God. That's classic Doom. Vintage Doom. Vintage. It's a little creepy effect, you know? When I was younger, that shit spooked me. So now we can go back to that blue door. Now we can. Level design? I always liked the level designs of Doom and Doom 2. I thought they were really, really good. I just like how it's a game where it's not... Com like, you're not just going one place and then a room you enter, you'll never enter again. Here, the levels aren't so much like a linear thing. It's like, you're going to go somewhere, but you're going to be back. You're going to go to a part of the level to get something that you need back at the beginning or something. Usually keys or switches. So I just, I like that. There's not a lot of games like that. And if there are that I don't know about that are like this, let me know about them because I'd love to play them. It just seemed like older games were more about that. Even if it were like the 64 games or PlayStation games, it was all about collecting things, then going back to do something else, not just, it still wasn't all, now it's kind of more about the cinematics and the graphics and stuff. Dude, I can give two shits. These graphics look great to me. Well, I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying. Toxin Refinery beaten. That's three levels down. And how's our scores? How is it? Eh, a lot of fours in there. 84, 54, 14. I don't like to look at the par because I think the par is by someone who is insane at the game. So don't look at the par. Fuck the par. I'm actually gonna save. That's gonna be my rule here. I'll save at the beginning of every level for sure from now on. Sound good? Okay. Oh god, here we go. The thing is with the imps, you can dodge their attack. So I usually don't... I usually save them for not first to kill. Because the guys with the guns, it's all, you can't really dodge those. You can try, but you can't see what's being shot at you. Whereas the imps, you actually can. These guys are pretty wimpy, but it's always embarrassing if, you, if your final shot to die is from one of those guys. You just feel bad about yourself! Forgot about that one. Ow. Right in the face. So earlier I was talking about the level designs and how that was a big part of Doom. There's actually... I used to do this uh, when I was younger. Levels are called WADs. WAD files. And what you could do is there were these things called WAD editors. So basically you could make your own wads, your own levels, your own maps that you could play through, you could put in all the monsters, make the wall textures, add guns, power-ups, everything. And it was just so cool. I thought it was the freaking coolest thing ever when I was younger. I was no good at making the levels, but I was pretty good at putting a shit ton of monsters in. <laughs> so I would, and then you can test it, so I would put all my monsters in, right? And then I would just play the level. It'd be like a room, maybe a hallway, probably no doors. The lights were all fucked up because I didn't know how to do that. But yeah, that was how most of my levels were. I bet now if I really took the time, it makes something kind of neat. But yeah, it's so a wad editor. It just, the problem is, and it's just funny because me and my brother were just try having some problems with older computer games, trying to get everything to work. It's like some of the best games are those old ones. And now with new computers, it's getting harder to play those. So yeah, it's just, it's a big cycle. Okay, I'm trying to remember where to go here. Where haven't I been? This, I've been here. Nope, there's a dude. There's two dudes. And another one! 
So I've got the chain gun now, which is awesome. You can just mow down your enemies like it's nothing. Chain guns are fun. I was saying shotguns are my favorite. Well, chain guns have to be up there with it. Here's blue door. Oh god, this is like the maze level. It's like a maze. And people will always be behind you. You gotta watch your back, son. You gotta watch your front, also. See, that's what I'm talking about. These bitches back here. And let me guess. Now, I'm gonna turn around. Nope, okay, okay. Oh no, watch that barrel or it'll blow me up. Because I don't want to die. If I die, I have to go back to the very beginning because I didn't save until the very beginning. I'm going to try not to save all the time because that's kind of cheap. But when the levels start getting harder or I start losing confidence in myself, I'll probably save a little more often because I don't want to have to go through the whole level again and make you watch me go through the whole level again just because I fucked up. So you know what? I'm actually going to save right now. Just in case. I don't want to redo all that. I don't imagine that's very fun for, as a viewer either. You want to just see what's supposed to happen, not me fail. Because it'll probably happen. Ah! Shotguns hurt, ladies and gentlemen. Shotguns hurt. What the hell? Oh, I think I skipped this whole room. Because the exit is behind me. Hopefully there's no enemies behind me. I'm about to die. That helped. Why don't I go in here, because there's probably some ammunition and some health. Kill the gunners first, or kill them both at the same time. Look at that, is that a... It's kind of like a... kind of like a swastika. That's... Actually, yeah, kind of. I'm shooting at a guy who can't even hurt me. Well, I'm just gonna go finish the level. Exit. Is there an enemy? No. Okay. Command control finished. And I didn't get any secrets that time. I'm not great with the secrets. I'm apparently not great with the kills or items either. 